the lord be with you dear friends we are on the 24th sunday of ordinary time today being 15th of september 2024 the reading seems to focus on the son of god to deepen our relationship with god and to live out our faith in a practical ways our first reading today is from prophet isaiah one of the suffering servant songs Isaiah chapter 50 verse 5 to 9 speaks about the servant who listens to God and does not turn away. This shows us the importance of being attentive to God's voice in our lives. We are called to be open and willing to hear what God has to say to us. The second reading is for a challenge to each one of us to be practical with our faith. It presents us with the reality of what it means to be true Christian. St. James reminds us that faith without good work is dead or useless. In today's gospel, we reach a key moment in our walk with the Lord. If you notice, the gospel narrative takes a turn from Galilean ministry to Jerusalem journey leading up to his passion, death and resurrection. After weeks of listening to Jesus' words and witnessing his deeds, miracles and healings, along with the disciples, we are asked to decide who Jesus truly is. Peter often the spoke version of the disciples and said Jesus question, who do you say I am? He answered simply, you are the Christ, you are the Messiah. We must not miss the greatness of this declaration from Peter. Messiah was long expected. The Messiah was more than a prophet or a king. The Messiah was the hope of Israel, the culmination of God's promises to his long-suffering people. Many in Israel at that time expected Messiah would conquer Israel's enemies and restore David's kingdom to its glory. Imagine Peter's horror then when Jesus immediately proceeded to detail what his messiahship, his kingdom could involve, like suffering, rejection, crucifixion, death, and resurrection. Thus, the path of his throne, as he reveals, is the way of suffering and death. I am sure that Peter did not register the teaching well. He was perhaps so confused. A Messiah who would suffer and die? What hope was there in that? Had Israel waited for hundreds of years, gone through so much, through exiles and occupations and oppressions, only for their Messiah to be put to shameful death? Peter gave expression to his shock and Jesus rebuked him saying get behind me satan we know the famous rebuke i wonder though if we could be any different how often have i or have you tried to form jesus in an image that i find comfortable so that he thinks and acts like i would or would like him to Listen again to Jesus' explanation for rebuking Peter. The way you think is not God's way, but man's. Do you think the way God thinks? And then Jesus further explains that it is not just Jesus who has to go through the cross. Each of us who profess to follow him need to carry our own crosses as well. to be willingly take up the cross meant to be deeply courageous willing to endure anything endurance and courage are in the privileges of select few it is a calling on all of us after all as saint james taught us in the second reading today our faith means nothing indeed is dead if it does not have a tangible impact on the way we live our lives As Jesus tells us today to believe that he is a messiah is to follow his way of self denial losing our lives to save them in order to rise with him a new life 
God bless each one of us. Amen. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.